hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching us how to cut two types of films so this first one is called a spiral films now let's get started okay so to cut the spiral films you are going to draw two lines like this and then you're going to mark two inches round from the center point here okay so that two inch is um, like a radius okay so um the more you increase the radius the less or the less fullness the flounce is going to have so i've connected all points together like that then you pick one of the lines and mark five inch okay then you use your um curved ruler to connect that five inch mark to one part of the radius like this okay then from here i'll start marking the length of my flare which i try to use five inch okay so you can increase the length of yours you can reduce the length but it's the same technique okay so i'm just marking five inch round so for now let me just connect all those points together okay so i have connected all this okay so i'll just i'll continue to add my five inch like that so at the end of the day i want to have a very big um spiral flounce okay so just keep doing this and make sure you stop at one end of the quadrant so this is it okay um yeah here so i've stopped at this particular quadrant here okay you can stop on any of the quadrants you know you have four quadrants you can stop at any of them okay so wherever you stopped that is where you start cutting from there and then you finish cutting inside so let's start cutting so i'll start from here yeah from here so after cutting out you're gonna fold in this manner okay like this so this is how you're going to unfold the films depending on how long you want it to be just like um what we've seen in the picture yeah so this is how it's going to be it's very simple like very simple so here, I'll just trim off this excess that I don't need anymore. And that's all. So that's how to make the spiral films. Now we move to the second tutorial. Now this for this type of films, you can do this by 
cutting a full circle or a half circle okay so let's get started so um i'll be using this dress to illustrate what i'm trying to explain so what you do is you're going to take your tape and try to measure the length of the flounce you'll be working with where you want to fix the flounce so you just like take your rough estimate of the length okay so let's say i'm working with about say 40 inches it's an assumption yours might not be up to that so you're cutting either a full or a half circle so if it's a full a full circle you fold your fabric into two like this i'm using paper like this and then you fold again so this is how to fold when you're cutting a full circle but if it's a half circle after folding the first time then you fold on bias like this so that's the difference this is for half circle but we are doing full circle so i'll just fold it back like this okay so to cut a full circle you need to find the radius of the circle now radius of a full circle is the circumference over 6.28 so i'm working with 40 40 divided by 6.28 is about 6.5 approximately now from the edge of my paper i'll mark the length of my radius okay which is um 6.5 approximately so i'll just mark 6.5 round so i'll just connect them together and this is my radius then we can measure the length of the paper now for the length depends on your choice okay so i'll just work with what is available here which is 10 10 is the highest i can do on this particular fold here so i'm just marking my 10 inch round okay so i have a full circle now i'm cutting out the radius okay so now i'm gonna cut off the unwanted parts which is on um, the radius and the remaining piece of paper here now let me state this whether you're cutting the spiral method of um, flounce or this flounce you don't have to draft directly on paper you can do it on your fabric directly but do not forget to add your seam allowances okay so here this is the flounce so you just open up one side okay and then um, you are going to line it so let me assume that I'm using African print to make this flounce I'll cut this on the African print and I'll also cut it on my lining okay so I have this piece of fabric together so now let me use this dress to explain how it's going to be fixed so this is the dress okay so all you just do is you get um, the peplum and then you fold okay this way like that okay so for the um sewing it's not really difficult you just need to be sewing it to the undress um, one by one as in per layer and it's easier to attach the peplum to the um front part of the skirt first before joining the back pieces i mean the skirt it's easier to attach than when you've already fixed the zipper at the back of the skirt so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching bye